I was spending way too much money on expensive organic chicken food that was delivered right to my door. So I had the idea to make my own chicken feed. And I did. And my chicken stopped laying eggs. The reality is, is that most feeds have fish meal as their primary source of protein for their chickens. That's how they get somewhere between 16 and 18% for a layer feed. After a very unscientific analysis, my feed was somewhere between 10 and 11%, which was not enough protein. I researched as many recipes from farmers and blogs and checked them against the ingredient lists from other chicken feed companies to make sure I wasn't missing anything major. I also made some changes and added things like millet, alfalfa, and flax seeds to increase the quality of the feed. I bought them all in bulk, and although the upfront cost was much more than buying bags of individual feed, I won't be ordering every month, and even some of the things that are the most expensive will last me probably like a year. Plus, I would be able to produce an extremely high quality and organic feed for cheaper than literally anything I could buy. That's a win-win, and it appeared having chickens would finally be worth it again. But when they stopped laying eggs, I was very confused, so I scoured the internet looking for answers and I realized I didn't have a critical part, which is protein. I was way too focused on making sure they had the calcium source that I didn't even think about the protein. Most recipe lists had peas as their main protein source, so I thought I was good at doing the same. The reality is that most feeds also have some sort of fish meal as their protein source, and I need to be somewhere between 16 to 18% protein, so I tinkered and this is where I've landed. Now this is my setup, I have one tote from Home Depot and a scale which you will need and then a 5 gallon bucket. Now I'm going to be giving the amounts of each that I'm using right now as a percentage because the actual amount is going to change depending on how much feed you're making. So if you're going to make 50 pounds of chicken feed then 10% would be 5 pounds. First up is alfalfa pellets. This is about 5% of the total feed amount. Alfalfa is about 20% protein so this is a nice bump and also mimics a foraging diet. It can also give a bump to the omega-3s in their eggs, which is a good thing. You really don't want to go above 5%. There's a study that was done that showed that any increase above 5 to 7%, you actually get a decrease in the amount of eggs. So for laying hens, 5% is good. Then I add oats, which is 7% of the total feed. Oats are about 10 to 12% protein, and they have a lot of minerals for the hens. Then I add wheat berries, which is 15% of the feed. Wheat berries are about 10 12% protein. Then I add millet, which is 15% of the total feed amount. Millet is basically a corn replacement, and it's about 10% protein, a lot of carbs, and really much better than regular corn for chickens. Next is barley, 10% of the feed amount. Barley is about 8% of the protein. And then field peas. This is the majority of the feed at 30%. Field peas are about 20% protein, so it's their primary protein source from the grains. Then 3% NutriBalance, which is a chicken vitamin mix. 2% of kelp. I also add 6% flax seeds. Uh, make sure they're not ground if you're going to use flax seeds. Ground flax meal oxidizes very, very quickly and really adds no benefit to your chicken feed and it's kind of expensive. So if you're going to add flax, make sure it's the whole seed. And then for a calcium source, I use 7% aragonite. According to some claims, aragonite offers a better calcium source than something like limestone, and they say it's more readily absorbed. The same people that say that are also the people who sell it, so I'm not really sure about that. There's a study out there that shows that it really provides no benefit, but I got it anyway. I give it a good mix, and previously I realized that all the small stuff sank to the bottom. Now that's the pretty important stuff like the aragonite and the NutriBalance. So I wanted a nice homogenous mix, and in order to get that I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, which gives it a little bit of stickiness so the aragonite and NutriBalance can mix in with it. Now you may think that's crazy, but most feeds have sunflower oil or something similar to that, and I think it's for this reason. It ends up being a very, very small amount of olive oil, and the cost is pretty insignificant, and it really helps a lot. Now I mentioned in the beginning that they stopped laying eggs, which I presumed was a lack of protein. My feed recipe is missing the protein-rich fish meal that is common in most feeds. To make up for that, I bought a bag of bugs like this one, which I sprinkle down to give them some good protein. Chicken eat bugs as part of their natural diet, so this is a return to normal for them. I obviously don't want to be buying bags of bugs because they are very expensive, so I actually started my own grub bin to grow my own protein source for my chickens. But that is for another video, and I am very, very excited about it. 
By adding the bugs, they started laying eggs again almost the next day, and I think the eggs taste way better than they did before. Fish meal oxidizes really quickly and can give eggs a little bit of an off flavor, which I definitely picked up on once they switched feeds. The one constraint that I haven't quite figured out yet is the pea situation. The chickens don't love the whole peas, and I don't have the ability to mill them into smaller pieces. I noticed in the beginning that the peas are just usually scratched out of the feed and are left floating around next to their feeder. So I've been fermenting their feed to help with this, and they eat nearly the entire thing now. It also helps unlock a little bit more protein and nutrients and ensures they're getting the right ratios that I'm putting into the mix instead of scratching individual pieces out. If you want to do this, it's as simple as covering your feed with water, maybe about an inch or two, and letting it sit out for a couple days. It's summer right now, so this happens very quickly, and you need to keep an eye on it because if you leave it out for too long, it will grow mold. Chickens eat about a quarter pound per day, which is about a pound per four birds. So I just do the math based on my flock and multiply that by two days, and then do batches every two or three days as a supplement to their regular feed. They also free range a good portion of the day, so all things together, I've given them a pretty solid diet, all while saving me quite a bit of money compared to what I was spending before. There are also a lot of seeds you can give chickens. Sorghum is another high protein grain, but a little bit more expensive and kind of hard to get. So do your own research and decide what you want to feed your chickens, and you can modify this mix based on that. So how much did this all cost? Here is my breakdown of what I was spending, and what I have spent for the bulk feed, and then what my ongoing chicken costs are going to be. My goal with my chicken feed is quality, so if you want to give your chickens soy and corn, then you'll probably hate this video. And if you do, then express yourself as sarcastically as you can in the comment section. I'm Kevin, and make sure to use my real name to belittle me as much as possible so we can all know that you are the king of chicken feed. God bless you.